and welcome to Craft for Business. With the world shifting to more remote and hybrid models in recent years, companies need solutions to help teams align faster. In this video, we're going to show you how Craft can help make meetings more efficient and result in better looking, more informative meeting notes. Craft allows you to turn any document into a template so that you can repeatedly use it in any project. In fact, all the documents that we make in this series will be available in the product for you to use as templates in your own teams. For those who want to learn how to build their own meeting notes template, we'll be going through that today with a meeting note style that we use regularly here at Craft. I'm going to create this in a daily note. Daily notes are a great place to keep information that's relevant to a specific date in the calendar making it an excellent tool for hosting team meeting notes. In the left sidebar, I'm going to select the calendar tab and hit create daily note for today. This note will remain stored under this day, so anyone in the team can access it at any point in the future. As you can see, the title is today's date. I'm going to add a subtitle for weekly team meeting. In the Craft for Business video on how to organize your team's workspace, I formatted text using the style menu in the right panel here. Now I want to show you one of my favorite tools in Craft, the forward slash menu. By tapping the forward slash key, a menu will appear. From here, you can search for the styling or item that you need. When you have a block selected like I do, the styling will be added to that block. So by typing S U B, the forward slash menu finds the styling option for a subtitle. Simply hit enter and there you go. In the rest of this video, I'll show you how the forward slash menu can be used for just about anything. Although all of these tools can be found in the menus along the right hand side. Next up, I want to create a page within here that explains how these meetings will work. So anyone new can be prepared for the format of these meetings. Let's go ahead and call this Monday presentations and standups. And by tapping the slash key, I'll type in C A R for card and hit enter. Now I can choose the settings for this card. I'll make it large, but make the background quite subtle as this will not always be necessary for people to read. Inside the card, I'm going to start with an overview and make this a heading with forward slash H-E-A-D for heading. I'll just add text under here to update the team on how the meeting will function in a couple of sentences. Now I'm going to select the two pieces of text and in the forward slash menu type block and hit enter and then forward slash again and type blue and choose the first one that comes up. The overview immediately stands out and will contrast to the rest of the document. Below I'll add another heading and beneath that some more text. I'll make sections bold by just using the traditional Control B shortcut. I want to give a list of examples here. First I'll make the text strong in the slash menu and then I'm going to make this a toggle list by hitting forward slash and typing T-O-G-G. -G. Now when I go to the next line, I can add content underneath this, so I'll list some items here. But I don't want everything to be a toggle because I don't need that many levels of information. I can select all of the items by clicking on the last, holding shift and clicking on the first. In the slash menu, I'll type B-U-L to turn them into normal bullet points. Now I'll finish the rest of the document using the same tools, adding important takeaways in a block and highlighting some key information for people to see at a glance. Back in the weekly meeting page, I'm going to add a presentation agenda as a subtitle and underneath mention the people in the team by typing at and then their name. I can add a separator below by typing forward slash and SEP, going down to light separator and hitting enter. Underneath, I'll add in any holiday or sick leave, new arrivals and releases using the same toggle menus and bullet lists as before. Now for another separator, and here's where we can add the stand-ups for every team. I'll add each team name on a new line, like this. Adding pages for each team's stand-ups allows the whole company to keep up to date with their progress and understand if there are any delays or blockers. I'll select each line, then forward slash and P-A-G-E, and now every line is its own page for each team to update. Let's have a look and see what design's been up to. Gorgeous, right? I'll show you how to save this document as a template so you can use it each time you have your meeting. Come back out to the main document. Now you can click on the final block and hold shift while clicking the top block, or you can simply press Ctrl and A. Press Ctrl and C to copy everything in this document. 
In the left sidebar, I'm going to go back to the folder view and click My Templates. In the top right, I'll click on the plus symbol and select New Document. And in this new document, press Ctrl and V to paste everything here. As easy as that, you've made a template. I'm going to go back to the calendar view in the left sidebar and make a daily note for next Monday. In this new blank daily note, I'm going to go to the forward slash menu, type T-E-M-P and select insert from template. Choose the weekly team meeting and it will automatically paste in this new document. Each week I can just change the details to make it relevant and the team instantly has a strong foundation with which to hold their meetings. We've covered how to make a note for a larger meeting to share with the entire company. But what about for an individual taking personal notes whilst at a meeting? We've got that covered too. If we come out of the company space into our private space, here Mel has started her own daily note to make sure she captures everything from the meeting. She's already imported a basic template that she has for these meetings which makes it easy to quickly sort and organise information as it happens in each meeting. Craft can be really useful here as it's incredibly easy to just open a daily note, import a template and start writing. So once the meeting's over and Mel has captured all the information she needs, she can go back and add to her meeting note. More than that, she can make it look stunning and share it with her team. So first up, we'll go in and add a bit more context to these notes. Fill them out a bit more and add any action items that are required. The focus here will be to summarise all the information from the meeting so that the rest of her team can stay in the loop without taking too much of their time. Now that we've added some more information, we can go in and highlight certain pieces of text. By selecting it and either using the pop-up panel that appears or using Ctrl and B to make it bold and Ctrl, Shift and B to highlight it. I'll go through the rest of this section doing the same. Now in action items, I'm going to change some of the bullet points to checkboxes. Just to finish up, I'm going to add a cover image by going to the page style menu and toggling on cover image. Now it's ready to share with Jane's team. The easiest way to do this is to create a shared link so that other members of the team can easily view and comment on the daily note. I'm going to click on the share button here and under share to web, click create to make that link. Once that's created, the link will automatically be copied to your clipboard to share via Slack, email or any messaging tool you use. Recipients will then be able to open the document in their browser and comment on it from there. Okay, we've covered a lot there. Make sure to check out our other videos in the Craft for Business series, where we cover everything from setting up your workspace to working collaboratively on projects. Thanks for watching.